Adam here with some more efficient stuff to show you how to uh, easily set up a, a real basic to-do list on Monday.com. Uh, this is a tool I have been using personally and I've been using in uh, my day job, uh, which is a law firm. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, there, there's a lot of overwhelming number of options when it comes to this program. I wanted to just get in real quick, show you how to make a to-do list that's automated uh, that you can use to show priority and uh, we'll really just get you up and running quickly uh, so that you can uh, just hit the ground running and start to play with some of the other automations and options well, later down the road once you've got a better idea uh, what exactly you want to get out of this program. So we are in my test workspace and I'm just going to really quick make a new board. So basic to do list. And I'm going to make it private, so the only person that shows up in here is me. All right, so this is what a, a uh, basically what it looks like right when you open a new board. You're going to get a couple different things with a couple random dates. I don't particularly like this, I but that's okay. So we're just going to clear this out, start from scratch. And delete these two options as well. All right, so we're going to have just three main groups. We're going to have our to-do. We're going to have a priority. And then we're finally we're going to have finished. I'm going to change the colors just so they're, they correspond, which you'll see here in a second. Priority is going to be red, and then to-do will be I usually just put gray. And then we're going to change the order around. Priority should be up top, finish at the bottom. I'll try to make this as confusing as possible. There we go. Alright. So, basically, what we're trying to do here is make a task, send invoices, whatever. Uh, and we want to automate this stuff as much as possible. This is going to be your to-do list, so you want it to always be assigned to you, which it doesn't do by default. Perhaps it should, but there's an easy way to automate it. Uh, and then let's just say we want to have, always just have the default, set it out a week. Uh, and you can tweak that as much as you like, but that way you just have a due date, and if you don't set a due date, it's not going to show up on your work list. So you need to have a due date. So let's just say you want to have it do that. Uh, and then you can put working on it. If you've started the project, you can hit done. Uh, and, and you want it to come down here and then disappear after a week so it doesn't get cluttered up. Or you want to change it to priority and have it come up here so that you can see what are the biggest priorities you need to have done. Uh, and then you can also have it notify you if it gets past the due date just so you, you don't miss something that's truly important. So let's just say that's what you want to do. So first off, we need to add a new color. We need to add a, well, we don't need to add a color. We just need to change it to say priority. So we're just going here, change it to priority. So when you change it to priority, it comes up here. Simple enough. All right. So we're going to go into automations, which is where Monday truly shines. Custom automation. So the first we want to do is we want it to uh, assign us a task and a due date when we make a new task. So when we create an item, first off we want it to assign ourselves as the person that gets the task. Then we want to set the date to today. So it's, it's sort of strange. You always have to set the date to today first, and then you can move the date. So you're going to set it to today, and then you're going to move the date, push the date, out by so seven days. So to show you what this looks like, so we're gonna make the we're gonna make the task. It's gonna assign me. It's going to set the date to today and then push it by seven days. So today's the twenty sixth. So let, let's see if that works. Send invoice. And it's a little slow sometimes. There it goes. Assigns me and sets out a week. So that's doing what we want to do. Easy enough. All right. Next, 
we want to move it around. If, we, if it's a priority task, we want it to move up to the priority list. So we're going to say when the status, which is the column that has the working on it priority and done, when it changes to priority, we want to move it to priority. Easy enough. And then we'll do the same. And then let's just say it's going to keep the same due date. You can also change it so it sets the due date out another week or however you want to do it. But let's just say we want to keep the same due date. Say it gets a day away from it being done, move to priority, and it will show up as priority in your task list. And the last one we want to do, well, let's we'll show that real quick. Invoice. There we go. Then we're going to change the priority. And it's going to move up there. All right. And the final movement we want to have, and I'm going to type it out so you see it first, and then I'll explain how it works, is we want to move to the, the done list, and we want to make it disappear after a week. So we're going to change it when the status changes again to done. And we're going to move it. So very similar to the last one, move it to finished. And then finally, we're going to set the date to today. And I'll explain why we're doing that here in a second. All right. So then we're going to say when a date arrives. But we don't want it to just be the date. We want it to be seven days after the date. Seven days after the date. But only... So this is gonna this is a conditional phrase only when the status is done. We want it to archive it. So there we go. So what that's gonna do is let's do the invoice again. Alright, we're gonna move it to done. You're gonna see the date's gonna change to today. Then seven days from now, this is gonna get archived. And you know. We'll just do it manually because I can't move my clock board. It's just going to disappear. So that really is the basics. Uh, that's really all you need to have to get going to begin with. Uh, one additional thing you could consider adding as a sort of little bonus is if you want to do a notification. So let's just say when the date arrives. It's very similar to the one we just did. When the date arrives on a priority one. Status is priority, then notify me, or you have to notify somebody else. This is due today. It's due today, and it's important. Now we'll just have a name. So when it's due, you'll get a notification appear in your notifications tab saying it's due. Uh, you can set it up through your settings to send you an email as well if that's your preference. I totally, totally up to you. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick preview of some of the automations you can do uh, and just to get you started because it really, the, the joy in this program is being able to move stuff around automatically have automatic dates. Uh, without the automations, you know, you, you would get just as much done in an Excel spreadsheet, uh, but we don't want to use Excel. We want to use Monday. I right, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you enjoyed the length. This is less than half the length of my last video. A uh, little simpler topic. I decided this might actually be a better place for you to start. I uh, If you have a specific thing you'd like me to cover, let me know. Uh, I'm getting some practical real-world experience with this program, using it within a small eight-person organization, uh, and so far so good, and I think a lot of people could get some real use out of it as well. Thanks.